All oh, right, now part seven, or is it part eight? I don't even know. But anyway, it's time to leave Bucharest. I'm in a bit of a hurry again. I need to get an Uber to the coach station and then a coach to Bulgaria. Sofia, let's go. Right, it's time for a little stop off now. I've been on the coach for over four hours and it is so hot. I think it must be like 34, 35, but uh, thankfully the coach is nice and air conditioned. But uh, let's get back on the coach and I'll see you in Sofia. Seven and a half hours later, we have touched down in Bulgaria, Sofia. So I've got no idea what to expect, but anyway, I've booked a hostel, changing it up for one night, so we need to try and find out that's the first step of the mission. Let's go. Right, so it looks like we've begun with a great start. I've ended up heading in the wrong direction, but how sick is that? And also, we've now got funny letters, so uh, this might be a little bit more difficult than it was in Romania. Definitely seems a bit more rogue anyway, a bit more communist. Um, former communist, former Soviet. Um, but yeah, I think it's about a 20 minute walk to the hostel, which is good, not too far. Just in the past, it's been about 50 minutes or so. Um, so yeah, just gonna head through to the hostel. Uh, and yeah, see what happens. Have a little explore later on, I suppose. But anyway, first, hostel time, first of the trip. So anyway, I think my hostel is just a couple more minutes down that way, but just walking through for 10 or 15 minutes. This place definitely has character. <laughs> definitely run down in parts, but I uh, quite like it. Even more so than Bucharest, maybe. Stop doing that, stupid camera. Um, but yeah, anyway, so just to give you a bit of an update on the plan. So I'm gonna stay one night in a hostel uh, because I found a cheap Airbnb for the next four nights. After that, about 22 pound a night, it's worked out. So yeah, uh, five nights in Sofia, maybe a couple of day trips. Uh, but I think the hostel is just down there somewhere. 
so she'll be there in a minute. Uh, yeah, no privacy tonight. Maybe. I think we've found the hostel. I think the entrance is just there, so uh, I'll get checked in and then I'll see it in a minute. Hopefully once I'm in the room. Fingers crossed there's nobody in there. I can have a bit of peace and quiet for a bit. Right now, I needed cash for the hostel, so we've got some Bulgarian lev, different currency in Bulgaria, not euros. And uh, I pretty much just got shouted at in the bank, so I think this is going to be a little bit more difficult in Bulgaria. So please send me your wishes. All right, here we are. First hostel of the trip. I just arrived. This is my bed for tonight. Just here, I've already got my stuff in. And um, there's a nice Mexican girl who is, it's her first day, but uh, the owner, and his wife are so nice, they're so lovely. She offered me like a Russian pancake thing. It was really nice. So uh, yeah, it's nice uh, that they were so welcoming. But uh, yeah, don't know what to do. Maybe chill out for a little bit. Maybe have a little evening wonder later on. I feel like I'm a bit throw off because of the, in the bank they were just like, you know, a bit, a bit nasty. Nasty, don't be nasty. All right, now it is 10 to seven in the evening. Just left the hostel. There's a lovely Bulgarian flag, and it is time to explore the streets of where are we? Sofia. See what we can find. But first, little. I need a cold drink. I've not had much to drink today, and hopefully we'll see if we can find anything interesting on a random exploration. All right, now I've just been to little. Got myself a few snacks, but so weird. See all those people filling up water bottles? Wow. Like, that's so strange. Maybe you can't drink normal tap water, but everybody's filling up. Look. All these people filling up bottles. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna find some air, eat my snacks. Oh, all right, I found a little spot to sit down. Beautiful building behind me. Don't know what it is, mind, but anyway, I've got a Coke full fat. That was the, like the only one they had. Didn't seem to have any other soft drinks. Got some blackberries, a protein bar, and a bit of bread. But uh, I definitely feel a bit more on edge here. I feel like there aren't really any tourists, and obviously, when I'm filming and stuff, a lot of people are watching me. Probably not really used to it. But, um, and then probably also that sort of situation in the bank where the woman was just shouting at me in Bulgarian. So hopefully, I'm sure it's fine, but uh, it happened in Bucharest as well. At first night, just feel a little bit on edge because it's unknown and these sorts of places probably have a bit of a bad reputation if you're from the UK, even though most of the time all those countries are actually fine. But uh, yeah, I'm going to tuck in and we'll carry on our little wonder after I've had a bit of a snack and a drink. So see you in a minute. Yeah, it's a little bit weird as well. Let me just turn you around. So like, just in like this little this little park and it's weird how people just chill out for the sake of chilling out. I don't know if it's the weather or um, like people just enjoy relaxing, I think. Whereas I don't know if it's just the UK, but everything's just go, go, go. Like you wouldn't see people just, you know, just sort of sitting around and enjoying living. Simplicity. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is just the weather. So, because as soon as it gets above 20 degrees in Newcastle, everyone's everyone's out. So, got some Bulgarian pigeons, lots of them. Hello. I don't know any Bulgarian words yet, so hello will have to suffice. Like we've got some kind of ruins or something down there. Apparently Sofia is one of Europe's oldest cities, something like that. Someone told me that. I've got no idea. Don't know anything about the place. We've got a McDonald's, my favourite place. But I love how sort of like retro, I love how sort of like retro the McDonald's are here. There was one in Bucharest train station and it was like 1990s throwback. Just stumbled across some lovely street art as well. 
and then just around this way as well. All the way along there. Pretty cool. cool. Anyway, carrying on. Tell you what, that's some statue as well. It's pretty tall, and I've just Googled it, and I can tell you, I've got absolutely no idea because it just says nothing. So, yeah, just don't know. No idea. Best tour guide ever. Right here. It's so hot as well. I don't even know what time it is. It must be like quarter to eight, and it must still be 25, 26 degrees or something. Roasting. Anyway, which way am I going? Which way am I going? I'm going to go that way. Right, I think I might have found some of the nicer bits anyway. We've got another church hiding just behind them trees. I think the main religion here is uh, Orthodox Christian. So I think a lot of the churches are Orthodox. But, uh, yeah, it looks like a little bit nicer here. I've got some restaurants and stuff. I must look like a right wanker with a selfie stick. Fucking tourist, eh? My phone keeps doing that and it's pissing me off. Going overexposed and exposed. Bulgarian doggy. Fat dog. Needs to go for a bit more of a walk. Anyway, let's go and have a little look at this church, shall we? Ah, uh, look, here we are. We've got some Ming. First bit of English I've seen in the city. Church was built in the 10th century. 10th century, it's pretty old, isn't it? Pretty old. There's that uh, main church somewhere, I'll have to try and find that. It's like one of the iconic sites of Sofia. Well, I've definitely found myself walking into one, the nicer part anyway, I think. Looks like we've got some sort of big government building here. Uh, I love the trams. Look at them. But yeah, just over there, I think it looks like there's a lot more people. It looks a bit more built up and a bit more pleasant. So uh, we'll head over that way and take a wonder. Pretty long strip, yeah, just like bars, restaurants, ice cream parlors, that sort of thing. But um, definitely feels a bit more homely over this way rather than where I was at the hostel. And there's a lot of people watching me and seeing what I'm doing. There's probably not many people walk along videoing themselves with a selfie stick. Those girls want to be on YouTube, they know I'm famous. We've got some mountains over that way as well, which I'd like to see. So I think it probably took me about 10 or 15 minutes to walk down that strip. It was absolutely massive. Well, I've made my way into some other sort of park and it's a Tuesday night at about eight o'clock, I want to say. Maybe a little bit earlier, oh, about, probably about eight o'clock. And look how many people there are just walking around. It's crazy. I feel like you'd never get this in England. Right, so I just came into a little bar just to chill out, asked for Sprite, and I ended up with orange juice. Come on, have what you want, but then I'm going to turn you around, do a little time lapse, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Right, and while I rehearse how to say thank you, you're going to click on the next video just there. Bugadaria, 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 Bugadaria. Probably completely wrong, but I hope by now, Bugadaria, you've clicked on my new video. Bugadaria.